Imagine a world where AI infrastructure tools designed to empower us to become our greatest vulnerability. In a shocking turn of events, cybersecurity researchers have uncovered a critical flaw in one of the most popular open source AI platforms, potentially exposing thousands of users to remote attacks. In this video, we will explore how a simple oversight in code validation could give hackers full control over your Alama AI account. Make sure to stay around till the end. In a recent report, researchers uncovered a critical vulnerability in Olama, a popular open source artificial intelligence infrastructure platform. If left unpatched, this security flaw could potentially allow malicious actors to achieve complete remote code execution on affected systems. The vulnerability, officially tracked as CVE 2024-37032 and dubbed for Blama by the cloud security firm Wiz, was responsibly disclosed to Olama's developers on May 5, 2024. In a commendable display of swift action, the Olama team addressed the issue and released a patched version 0.1.34 just two days later on May 7, 2024. For those unfamiliar with Olama, it's a versatile service designed for packaging, deploying, and running large language models locally on Windows, Linux, and macOS devices. Its popularity stems from its ability to bring powerful AI capabilities to a wide range of systems, making it a go-to choice for many developers and organizations venturing into the world of AI. But as we have seen time and time again in the cybersecurity landscape, even the most innovative technologies can fall victim to classic vulnerabilities. At the heart of this security flaw lies a textbook case of insufficient input validation, resulting in a path traversal vulnerability that could be exploited with devastating consequences. Here's where things get technical and dangerous. The vulnerability specifically targets the slash API slash pull API endpoint, typically used to download AI models from official registries or private repositories. An attacker could exploit this endpoint by sending carefully crafted HTTP requests to the Olama API server. These malicious requests would contain a model manifest file with a hidden path traversal payload lurking in the digest field. But the potential for harm doesn't stop there. This vulnerability opens up a Pandora's box of malicious possibilities. Not only could an attacker corrupt arbitrary files in the system, but they could also achieve full remote code execution. How? By overwriting a critical configuration file called etc ldsopreload This file is associated with the dynamic linker id.so and is used to specify shared libraries that should be loaded before any other libraries when a program is executed. By injecting a rogue shared library into this file, an attacker could ensure their malicious code is executed every time a program runs on the compromised system. Now, you might be thinking, surely this vulnerability can be that easy to exploit, right? While the risk of remote code execution is somewhat mitigated in default Linux installations, the same can be set for Docker deployments. In these setups, the API server is often publicly exposed, creating a much larger attack surface. Saji Zadik, a security researcher involved in uncovering this vulnerability, emphasized the severity of the situation, particularly for Docker installations. He said, This issue is extremely severe in Docker installations, as the server runs with root privileges and listens on 0.0.0.0 by default, which enables remote exploitation of this vulnerability. Adding fuel to the fire, is a llama's lack of built-in authentication mechanisms. This oversight means that if an Olama instance is exposed to the internet without additional protective measures, it's essentially an open door for hackers. They could potentially steal or tamper with AI models, compromise self-hosted AI inference servers, and wreak havoc in unsuspecting organizations. The implications of this vulnerability are far-reaching and, frankly, quite alarming. In their investigation, the team at WIS uncovered over a thousand exposed Olama instances hosting numerous AI models without any protection. These instances are sitting ducks waiting to be exploited by savvy attackers. Zadik summed up the situation saying, 
CBE-2024-37032 is an easy-to-exploit remote code execution that affects modern AI infrastructure. Despite the code base being relatively new and written in modern programming languages, classic vulnerabilities such as pass traversal remain an issue. The Olama vulnerability is not an isolated incident. It's part of a larger, troubling trend in the AI and machine learning landscape. AI security company Protect AI recently sounded the alarm on over 60 security defects affecting various open source AI slash ML tools. These vulnerabilities run the gamut from information disclosure to privilege escalation and even complete system takeover. Let's look at how an attacker could exploit this vulnerability in practice. The process involves several steps, each leveraging a different aspect of the flawed input validation in Olama's API. First, the attacker would send a specially crafted HTTP request to the vulnerable API slash pull endpoint, including a malicious model manifest file containing a path traversal payload in the digest field. Due to the lack of proper validation, Olama would process this manifest file and attempt to store it on the file system using the manipulator path, allowing the attacker to write files to arbitrary locations on the server. The attacker can then use this file write capability to plant additional malicious manifest files on the server, effectively registering new compromised models. By exploiting another endpoint, API slash push, the attacker could trick the server into leaking the contents of sensitive files on the system. Finally, in Docker installations where a llama runs with root privileges, the attacker could overwrite critical system files like edc ldso.preload, which the dynamic linker uses to load shared libraries when a process starts. By modifying this file and triggering a new process, for example, by querying the API slash chat endpoint, the attacker could force the system to load and execute malicious code, achieving full remote code execution. This vulnerability is a big deal, as an attacker who successfully exploits this flaw could steal sensitive data, including API keys for services like OpenAI, which are often stored in environment variables or configuration files. They could access and exfiltrate proprietary intellectual property, such as custom AI models, or the source code of the applications using Olama. This discovery highlights a significant security gap in how organizations deploy and manage their AI infrastructure. One particularly nasty example is CVE 2024-22476, a critical SQL injection flaw found in Intel neural compressor software. This vulnerability, which received a perfect 10.0 CVSS score, the highest possible severity rating, could allow attackers to download arbitrary files from the host system. Fortunately, this issue has been addressed in version 2.5.0 of the software. Just when you thought the world of cybersecurity couldn't get any more intriguing, Google has dropped a bombshell that's set to revolutionize how we hunt for vulnerabilities in our increasingly complex digital ecosystems. Enter Project NapTime, a cutting-edge framework that leverages the power of large language models to automate and enhance vulnerability research. Yes, you heard that right. AI is now joining the ranks of white hat hackers. Unveiled on June 24, 2024, Project NapTime is Google's latest brainchild, designed to give human security researchers a well-deserved break while AI does the heavy lifting. At the helm of this groundbreaking project are Sergey Glazunov and Mark Brand from Google's Elite Project Zero team. These cyber sleuths have crafted an AI agent that doesn't just scan code, it thinks like a human security researcher. The NapTime architecture is centered around the interaction between an AI agent and a target codebase, they explained. The agent is provided with a set of specialized tools designed to mimic the workflow of a human security researcher. But what exactly makes Project NapTime tick? It's not just one tool but a Swiss army knife of AI-powered components working in perfect harmony. It's a code browser that allows the AI to navigate through complex code bases like a seasoned developer, a Python tool that can run scripts in a sandboxed environment for fuzzing, a debugger that observes how programs behave with different inputs, and a reporter that keeps tabs on the whole operation. The true genius of Project NapTime 
lies in its ability to leverage the latest advancements in LLM's code comprehension and reasoning abilities. This isn't just about pattern matching or following predefined rules. We're talking about an AI that can think critically, form hypotheses, and test them systematically, just like a human would. Google claims that Naptime is model agnostic and backend agnostic, meaning it's not tied to any specific AI model or infrastructure. This flexibility could be a game changer, allowing researchers to adapt and improve the system as new AI technologies emerge. And if you're wondering how well it performs, according to the CyberSecEval 2 benchmarks, an evaluation suite developed by Meta to quantify LLM security risks, in that case, Naptime is leaving other AI models in the dust when it comes to identifying tricky vulnerabilities like buffer overflows and advanced memory corruption flaws. In fact, in Google's own tests, Naptime achieved near-perfect scores in reproducing and exploiting these types of vulnerabilities. We're talking about scores of 1.0 and 0.76, up from a measly 0.05 and 0.24 respectively. For OpenAI's GPT-4 Turbo, that's not just an improvement, it's a quantum leap in capability. However, perhaps the most exciting aspect of Project Naptime is its potential to democratize high-level vulnerability research. As the researchers put it, Naptime enables an LLM to perform vulnerability research that closely mimics the iterative hypothesis-driven approach of human security experts. This architecture not only enhances the agent's ability to identify and analyze vulnerabilities, but also ensures that the results are accurate and reproducible. Have you ever used a Llama or similar AI infrastructure tools? What do you think about how Google's project Naptime will protect you in the future? Share your thoughts in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video.